Microbiology, an interdisciplinary field that explores the diversity and complexity of microorganisms, plays a crucial role in the understanding and management of infectious diseases. As medical professionals, it is essential for you to grasp the latest advancements in bacterial identification and characterization techniques. In this comprehensive course, we will delve into various cutting-edge methods used in the field of microbiology, ranging from traditional approaches to state-of-the-art technologies. By the end of this course, you will have a thorough understanding of these techniques, their applications, and the emerging trends in bacterial identification. So, let us begin our journey into the realm of microbiology. Matrix-assisted laser desorption slash ionization time of flight mass spectrometry, MultiTOF MS, is a fast and accurate method for identifying bacteria. It involves ionizing bacterial molecules and comparing their mass to charge ratios to reference spectra in databases. This technique has greatly improved clinical microbiology. The rise of antibiotic resistance in bacteria is a global concern. Detecting and characterizing antibiotic resistance genes is crucial for effective treatment strategies. PCR amplifies specific DNA sequences, while sequencing provides genetic information. Microarrays enable high-throughput screening of resistance genes, aiding in their characterization. Next-generation sequencing NGS, has revolutionized genomics, providing unprecedented insights into microorganisms' genetic composition. NGS platforms like Illumina, Ion Torrent, and Pacific Biosciences offer high-throughput sequencing, enabling rapid analysis of bacterial genomes. Library preparation involves enzymatic fragmentation, adapter ligation, and library amplification. Sequencing reactions occur as libraries are loaded onto the sequencer. Data analysis pipelines assemble sequences and compare them to reference genomes or databases. NGS techniques have transformed bacterial identification, detecting known pathogens, discovering new species, and studying microbial communities. These advances have revolutionized clinical diagnostics, epidemiological surveillance, and our understanding of bacterial pathogenicity. Antimicrobial susceptibility testing, AST, is crucial for guiding antibiotic therapy. Disc diffusion and mite determination are used to assess bacterial susceptibility. Automated systems like Vitec and BD Phoenix streamline the process. Understanding AST principles aids in selecting effective treatments and combating antibiotic resistance. In epidemiological studies, differentiating bacterial strains is crucial for outbreak investigations. Techniques like PFGE, MLST, and WGS help identify strains and their transmission patterns, aiding in outbreak control. Serological techniques are important for diagnosing bacterial infections. Western blotting separates bacterial proteins, which are then detected using specific antibodies. Immunofluorescence assays visualize bacteria in samples. Multiplex antibody assays allow simultaneous detection of multiple bacterial antigens, improving accuracy and efficiency in diagnosis. In this section, we will discuss the culture and identification of anaerobic bacteria, which are bacteria that thrive without oxygen. Special techniques and equipment, such as anaerobic chambers and gas pack jars, are used to create an oxygen-free environment for their cultivation. When transporting samples, anaerobic transport media are used. Identification of anaerobic bacteria involves observing their physical characteristics and using advanced techniques such as MALDI-TOF MS or DNA sequencing. In the molecular techniques for detecting virulence factors in bacteria section, we discuss various techniques, like PCR and gene sequencing, which help identify and study the virulence factors of pathogenic bacteria. These techniques offer valuable insights into how these factors contribute to infections. They allow for targeted detection of virulence genes through PCR amplification using specific primers. Gene sequencing helps understand the genetic variations and characteristics of these factors. Additionally, gene expression analysis, like QRT-PCR, provides information on how virulence genes are regulated in different conditions or during infection. These techniques are crucial for understanding the mechanisms of pathogenicity, developing treatments, and monitoring virulence factors in clinical settings. Metagenomic sequencing is a powerful method for identifying bacterial species in complex clinical specimens. It involves DNA extraction, library preparation, and data analysis using bioinformatics pipelines to compare sequences with reference databases. This approach has revolutionized clinical diagnostics and provided valuable insights into the human microbiome and infectious diseases. Biofilms are complex bacterial communities in chronic infections. Techniques like confocal microscopy, crystal violet staining, and molecular methods help study and detect biofilm forming bacteria, providing insights into their structure and aiding in therapy development. In the video, we will discuss techniques and approaches for identifying bacteria and foodborne outbreaks. 
we will cover culture-based methods, molecular methods, and whole genome sequencing for accurate strain characterization and identification of potential transmission routes. This information is crucial for effective outbreak control and public health safety. Flow cytometry is a useful technique for studying microorganisms. It uses light to measure characteristics of individual cells, such as size and fluorescence. By using specific probes and antibodies, we can identify and count different types of bacteria. Flow cytometry is used in many areas, including research, monitoring, and diagnostics. It is fast and efficient, making it a valuable tool for studying bacterial populations. In the conclusion, we have explored different methods for identifying bacteria, such as culture-based techniques and cutting-edge technologies like MultiTOF MS, NGS, and metagenomic sequencing. As future medical professionals, understanding these techniques will enable us to effectively diagnose and treat infectious diseases, ultimately benefiting both individual patients and public health. As the field of microbiology continually advances, it is important for us to continue exploring and innovating to further our understanding of microorganisms and improve human well-being.